hello everyone welcome back to chill sense today's video i'm going to be reviewing one of the most hyped clone fragrances in the past few years right but this fragrance really started uh, heating up in like 2022 or so but then since then this has already become like a cult classic and it's pretty much at the legendary status when it comes to clone fragrances. I would say it's in the same tier as Club de Nuit Intense Man with how cheap but yet how good quality this clone is and uh, the clone uh, and the perfume, the fragrance in question, Latafa's Kamra, right? Oh my god, look at that bottle, it looks, looks so nice, like, I don't know if it's coming off on camera but this is one really good looking bottle but there's one problem with the bottle it's like it's very loose you know you see that it doesn't really click on to place and it makes like this weird noise i don't know if you can uh, hear that it's kind of weird which is kind of concerning but uh, you know as long as the as long as the atomizer works and the fragrance is good i don't care really let's spray this fragrance and let's talk about the fragrance in more detail so pretty light cap the bottle is also not super heavy but it's got decent weight it doesn't feel super light and cheap so anyways let's see bad sprays a decent amount it's like a gold atomizer thing it looks pretty nice for the price so the price for this i paid like in dollars i would say like 28 dollars in inr i paid 2100 2300 or something like that somewhere between that price range. so it's super cheap and it's like 100 ml and it's uh, oh my god i can already smell it that's this is uh this is really good it smells the opening is really eye-catching i also have the fragrance that it's trying to clone um i don't have a full bottle i just have like a sample like a decant and it's i don't know if you can see but it's pretty much uh it's pretty much over but uh yeah it's a uh, killing angel share and hmm, okay all right so there are a few differences firstly Killian's Angel Share is a lot more boozy, it's a lot more alcohol-like. By alcohol-like, I don't mean like uh, perfume alcohol, but like the alcohol that you drink, like whiskey or like rum, something like that, you know, that kind of deal. A really heavy, hard alcohol. It smells, it has that vibe, the original Killian Share. But uh, this guy, this guy doesn't really come off very boozy. It has a, it has a bit of booziness, but it's not as boozy as like that is very like whiskey forward but it's still balanced with the sweetness it's a beautiful balanced fragrance it's so addictive and that can be said about this too this is very 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 addictive in the way it smells the thing that makes it addictive is sweetness mixed with like the spices that they have added if this is basically kill and share but if it was made by a middle eastern house and that's basically what this is it's basically kill and share but like the middle east ocean it smells very similar to angel share but with like a middle eastern twist you know that spices that it's that fragrant uh warmth from the spices that bit of sharpness but it's offset by the beautiful praline and the vanilla and the honey I guess there's honey, I don't remember, but there's some sort of sweetness, right? There's definitely really and of course a lot of cinnamon, like it's a cinnamon bomb. Like this is also very cinnamon heavy, but nowhere near this guy. This guy is like woof boom cinnamon bomb. But immediately offset by the other by other spices and praline and vanilla and the wood woody notes things like that this is a lot more boozy focused a lot more rum whiskey but again offset by the praline and the vanilla and the cinnamon things like that of course this also does have like a boozy aspect to it but it's not super boozy when you sm smell the original angel share
um that's how that i would say is like the only tip um that i would say is like the only difference between those two it just smells a bit boozier but like in the air right like if i if i sprayed both of them i wouldn't be able to tell the difference they are pretty much identical like only if i smell side by side i can tell you tell you guys these these differences otherwise in the real world i don't think so i would have been able to tell you the difference it's super super nitpicky right and um, the other good thing about this fragrance is just like angel shed this guy is a beast a beast of a performer this thing lasts for ever it projects right and i can still smell it it's so strong it projects for like 2 hours really strong 2 hour projection by the way it fills up the room it lasts on my skin for like 10 hours 10 plus hours like easy especially if the weather is nice so right now it's uh, raining a lot so the temperature has gone down but it's not gone down by a lot it's still kind of warm but it's way better it's, it's not as hot as like 2 weeks ago and for this weather i would say it's perfect because especially in the evening it gets a bit breezy it feels nice and pleasant a fragrance like this would just oh work wonders so if you have like a evening party or like a wedding or something like that in a pleasant weather this is like the fragrance to wear this is like i would say the best winter wedding fragrance that exists right now this is that good this is a phenomenal fragrance it smells amazing insane performance great projective projection amazing cr the scent bubble is huge and it's in captivating it is addictive um i have not worn it long enough to get any compliments but the way it smells i would i would guess it's going to get a lot of compliments it smells so good and be like how can you tell it's going to get compliments well i own like 40 fragrances and i also have a bunch of like you know mass appealing fragrances and i have worn them for a for way longer than this and they do work like i've gotten compliments from them and i know how mass appealing fragrances smell like i've smelled like really niche stuff too right i've smelled oud i've smelled leather like those really dark notes and those are not mass appealing by any means but something like this because it's rounded off the booziness quite a bit with that sweetness it's going to be super addictive when you when you first spray it on you'll you'll be like wow also like blind by safe it's not expensive and it smells very mass appealing and really addictive it's like a really good dessert that you just can't stop eating right it's like that it's really good really 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 good this is this gets 9 out of 10 a banger this is a banger fragrance 100% recommended if you want to blind buy go ahead and blind buy it but uh, i'm not going to force you to buy it again but that's just my opinion and the hype for this fragrance is justified this is a banger fragrance so that does it for this video thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it if you agree disagree let me know down in the comments below don't forget to subscribe hit the like button Uh, hit the notification bell and uh, that there is for today and uh, bye